After 10 hours, the ED raids on DMK Minister Sentil Balaji has come to an end. It's triggered as expected an all-out political fight in Tamil Nadu. MK Stalin has now come out to publicly defend his minister, calling these raids politically motivated and accusing the BJP of misusing central agencies. The Tamil Nadu chief minister taking a stand there to back Sentil Balaji, even as the DMK has cried foul over these raids. Remember that after the IT department now they enforce Directorate that's raiding Sentil Balaji right now. We will, of course, track the latest to get you details of what has led to these raids, what's the evidence that they've got against Sentil Balaji. But let's take a look at the reactions first. No, they have come with an ulterior motive for the past two, three days. The political scene of Tamil Nadu. Is between ADMK and BJP. There is some talk going on. Heat of them, both of heat of them, each of them are giving heated uh, statements. It's a diversion. Yeah. It's a diversion. Just to divert that issue, because people started asking that there is rift in the alliance of BJP between the ADMK and BJP. Just to divert that attention. Today, evening paper, only this one. DMK ministers are being raided time and again, and today also there is an ED raid at Central Balaji's residence. What do you like? Ask DMK leader what you'd like to say about this. No, the concerned minister will face it. What is that to say about? Do you think this ED and I... This is yes. not new for DMK. And uh, Mr. Sandhu Balaji, I think he's already met the press, and he's ready to answer the whatever he's been asked. Your father has said this is nothing but targeting DMK. Is that so? Yeah, it looks like that. But we are not afraid of anybody, especially uh, ED or income tax. We are not afraid of anybody. Yeah, we will face it, whatever it is. So your father has also reacted about Amisha claiming that the next Prime Minister could be from Tamil Nadu. So what is your reaction to it? Um, my uh, wishes to Mr. Adapati Pine Sami. What? Mm -hmm. He is also a a Prime candidate. Minister candidate. No? Anybody he from can DMK, sir? No, that our leader will decide. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From all the in conversation with Udenidhi Stalin, who stuck to the DMK line, that all of this is nothing but a political witch hunt. Shilpa Nair is joining us live with more details on this. The raids went on for 10 hours, Shilpa, in a money laundering investigation against Power Minister Sentil Balaji. But the DMK making it very clear that as of now, they 100% stand by their minister. Well, absolutely right, Akshita. In fact, the race got over only at the Secretariat, where the official chambers of DMK Minister Sendil Balaji was being raided or searched by the ED officials. It is still ongoing here uh, at his residence in Chennai. This is, uh, you know, what where I stand is the uh, re official residence of Sendil Balaji in Chennai. And even in Karur, the raids are still going on. This is the information that we're still uh, getting from officials. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, the trouble, of course, is mounting for uh, DMK Minister Sendil Balaji. Remember, just a few days back, it was the income tax uh, which raided the minister and now of course it is the enforcement directed and this of course is in connection uh, with a cash for job scam that took place in 2014 when Sendil Balaji was a minister in the AIDMK government. This happened uh, in, uh, from 2011 to 2015. Uh, that was a period when Sendil Balaji was the transport minister but nevertheless uh, you know reacting to these raids uh, DMK chief and Tamil Nadu chief minister MK Stalin has hit out at the BJP saying that these raids are politically motivated and the BJP is misusing central agencies. In fact, what he said uh, is that uh, this uh, intimidation tactics of the BJP uh, by using backdoor methods to intimidate uh, uh, political rivals will not work, will not yield them the desired results. And what he has taken strong objection to, Akshita, is mm -hmm. the fact that raids were carried out at the state secretariat. Now, M.K. Stalin says this is an assault on cooperative federalism. This is an assault on, corporate, uh, on federal values. Uh, that is what uh, Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has said. And in fact, the last time this happened was in 2016, shortly after Jalalta's death, when okay. the then Chief Secretary Ram Mohan Rao was raided by the income tax. And Stalin says, even at that point in time, I had voiced similar opinions and nothing has changed. It doesn't matter who is getting okay. raided, but what matters is where it's happening. Going on to suggest that it is completely unacceptable that right. the BJP and its... Uh, and the central agencies chose to uh, carry out raids at the state secretary. So they've opposed the raids that took place at the state secretary, requesting the BJP on this. Thanks for the moment, Shripa, for joining us with all of those details.